Ciao everybody, this is Matteo from Milan, Italy. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how I made these simple vellum pictures. Um, I have decided to make this video because I have seen many tutorials about how to make your own vellum and uh, I have tried it. I have tried it and I have tried different kinds of oils, but every time I struggled because uh, the picture remained uh, oily and it was very hard to, to glue the picture to one of, of my projects. So I have tried something different. I know that for many of you I have discovered the, the hot water, but I just wanted to share with you my quick and easy method to print a picture on a regular paper and transform it into vellum. I hope that you can see how transparent the picture became. And, uh, um, and I also want to apologize because in this video, as usual, my camera is shaking a lot, so forgive me for that, I do apologize. Anyway, let's see how to transform a regular printer paper picture in this amazing and transparent homemade vellum. So here we are, this is our fake project, but it is just for, for the purpose of showing you how to make my own vellum. These are some pictures that I have printed out some time ago and that I have never used. So let's start with the smaller one. So what you have to do, let's pretend that this page of an old book is my, is my project. What you have to do is to take your picture or whatever you have printed and take a candle. This is just um, a regular IKEA candle and you have to rub it all over the surface of the image or on the surface of whatever you have printed out. Okay, and once you are sure that you have put wax all over the, um, the surface, you take your felt, because it is very soft, some parchment paper, you place the picture inside and you take your iron and you start ironing your piece and you will see that the wax is going to melt and the paper will be soaked with it. I know that my camera is really shaking in this moment and I'm sorry for that. Okay, one side was down. And you have to do the same thing with the other side. Now the paper is hot, so the wax is already melting. And you do the same thing. And you can take a cotton pad to get rid of any excess and you can take your picture and set it aside to cool down and you can move on with the other pictures. Flip the picture, make the same thing on the other side too. and remove the excess from both sides and let it cool. And now let's take the bigger picture, which is this one, and do the same thing.
Okay, remove the excess from here too. Step on the back too. Perfect, and let it aside to cool. So now everything has cooled down and we have our vellum pictures. The feeling to the touch is amazing. It is very, very sturdy and most of all, it is 100% transparent. And now we are going to glue it down with our trusty and trusted Mod Podge. So let's take the first picture and we can glue it down like any other picture having a beautiful transparency. This is really beautiful. Let's do the same thing with the other picture. I just want to pay attention to where the glue is because I don't want to put glue on the front of the picture because I want the vellum feeling to be touchable. I don't even know if that's even a word. And here we go with the second picture. Just look at how transparent it is. I think we have to close these pictures in a book. And we do the same thing with the third picture that I have spoiled because I have scratched the ink with my fingernail. It was a very, very bad print of a beautiful picture, but I just wanted to use this to show you the result. And let's glue it down to our book page. Of course, where the picture is black, the transparency is quite difficult to see, but as you can see, where the picture is clear, the transparency is just amazing. Can you see it? And once again, to the touch, it feels incredible. So let's set this aside to dry, close them under a heavy book and see you in a moment. So here we are, these are our final pictures and I wish you could touch it. They are perfectly stuck to the page and there's no way to take them away from the page and I hope that you can see how transparent they are. This vellum is absolutely amazing. It is amazing. I I, I would struggle the uh, I would struggle to find the words in Italian, let alone in English, but the result is just stunning to me. But before I leave, there is something else that I want to tell you because I have tried to make vellum with um, tea dyed paper and this is the result. This is the result. It is amazing. And one other thing that I have discovered that may be helpful to you, is that when you take a cloth, for example, to remove some of the excess, it may happen that you fold the paper and it cracks. So if this happens, all you have to do is to take the parchment paper, put the sheet back in, iron it, the wax will melt again and everything will be perfect. So it's very easy, very simple, very quick. And since I started uh, trying this thing on uh, tea dyed paper, I now want to show you what I did. I made this little booklet that as usual is with my tea stained paper, but it also includes botanicals printed on vellum. And let me show you some more. We have this one, which is beautiful. It is so beautiful. I am in love with this technique. 
I just love it. I also included one bigger envelope and here's another botanical and I have also included many other tiny envelopes which are my um, which are my signature, like my friend D always says. And anyway, before I go, uh, let me tell you that this little booklet is now listed in my Etsy shop. But before I go, I want to tell you, I want to remind you once again, that tomorrow is August the 1st, which means that our challenge will start. So please be there, don't miss it. Uh, I hope you are going to participate. I am very excited about it. And anyway, oh my God, I can't wait. So thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.